Church today, I want to talk about a day that is usually left out of the celebration of Resurrection Day, of this Holy Week. And that's what we usually call Silent Saturday. Silent Saturday is the day between Good Friday and Resurrection Sunday. It's a day where nothing was happening. Jesus was in the tomb, the disciples were afraid, and everything was quiet. What do we do when everything is silent? What do we do when what we were believing for seems to be buried and we're waiting for something to happen? In the silence of Saturday, people usually take two extremes that kill their faith. Denial or despair. Denial is the idea that, oh, there's no problems, there's no issues, nothing is going on, I'm okay, you're okay, everything's okay. Despair is, everything's done. There's nothing left. It's over. Hebrews 11 gives us an example of meantime faith. When it says Abraham, even when he looked at his body and he did not deny the issue, he saw that he was old. He saw that there was absolutely no way in the natural that he could have a child, yet he believed what God said and said that he would not consider what he already knew his physical senses saw. He said, I decide to consider what God said over what I see. We need meantime faith. We need in-between faith. I need a Saturday faith that when Jesus is in the ground on a Friday night, I still believe that God will do what he promised to do and on Sunday morning, resurrect the thing that was planted. I don't have to suppress or deny the situation to be a person of faith because many times I need the facts to know what I need to stand against. See, faith doesn't always prevent failure. Faith puts failure in a frame. Faith keeps standing when problems show up. Reminds me of the psalmist in Psalm chapter one. I said it this way, but his delight is in the law of the Lord and on his law will he meditate day and night. He will be like a tree planted. I want you to get that. He will be like a tree planted by rivers of water that brings forth his fruit in due season. His leaf will not wither and whatever he does will prosper. I do want us to notice this. God doesn't plant trees, he plants seeds that become trees that have been planted. A seed that is planted in faith and hope in God is going to yield fruit no matter what the circumstances are around it. No matter who is in office, no matter what is going on in the nation, no matter what is happening in the economy, no matter what the world is saying, a tree that is planted in hope and faith in God is always going to yield fruit in every season. Many of you have been under some things this year. Maybe you've been underpaid. Maybe you feel like you're underqualified. Maybe you feel like you're under situations. But I'm here to tell you that what you thought was burying you on a Saturday, God has planned a resurrection on Sunday. I want you to say out loud, put it in the comments on this video and say, I trust the planter. While you are planted, you just need to trust God that he knows what he is doing. I'm going to stay planted. I'm going to trust God. I'm not buried, I'm planted. And God plans on a resurrection on Sunday. What do you need to plant today in the soil of faith? What do you need to plant to make a decision that I'm going to trust God, that he has resurrection power planned for me. Listen, a seed in your hand is a seed that can't grow. 
For some of us, there's a financial seed that we want to plant because we believe that God has resurrection power to do something great in our lives. For some of you, it's your talent that you need to plant and say, God, I am going to sow this into the good ground of you and your kingdom, believing that your resurrection power is going to do something amazing with it. What can you plant on a silent Saturday to make a decision that with faith, I am going to stand for the resurrection power of God to show up on a Sunday? God plans to flourish everything in your life. This is the call to increase. But increase can't happen unless seeds are planted. And with everything that God does, there is seed, there's time, and there's harvest. It's at that time period, it's on that silent Saturday that we know increase is happening. It may be below the surface. It may not be something we see right now, but we trust the planter. We trust that God knows what he is doing. We trust that the good ground that we have sown in is going to yield an abundant crop. On this silent Saturday, let's get ourselves prepared to celebrate on Resurrection Sunday. I'll see you tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. at Faith for Life Church. Get your party shoes on. We're going to praise like crazy. This is the celebration of the year.